giant schnauzer fans i am updating a video that i put out about nine months ago on raw food diets that i feed this guy right here this is kylo ren um he's a year old right now i received him when he was three months old he was weighing about 20 pounds and he is now currently 98 pounds and still gaining weight so uh Without further ado, let's dive into it and I'll show you what I do, how I mix things up and um, at the end I'll maybe even go into some of the cost. I know it may seem like it's kind of expensive, but you know, you get used to it, you're able to, to handle the finances after uh, uh, you're doing this on a regular basis. So first of all, uh, what I have here is just rice. I start off his base with, um, I really don't weigh what any of his uh, ingredients are. I just go by feel. Um, this right here, let's say, uh, is about five inches in diameter and about an inch and a half thick, thick of rice. So uh, that's what I start off with. I'll get two eggs, raw eggs, and I'll crumble up the shells the best that I can um, still. Like the first video that I put out, uh, the larger the chunks, uh, the more he leaves them behind. This shell is really good for uh, his health. So I'll, I'll just grind them down and I'll add it to his diet. There's one. There is two. Just grind them up the best that you can. You know, it, it kind of seems weird. Um, you wouldn't think that your dog would eat it, but they do. They they get used to what they're being fed on a regular basis. And uh, but like I said, these larger pieces like this right here, you may leave behind, or even larger. It's just just something that uh, you know you got to deal with. You may have a little bit of leftover. So once I got this, these eggs mixed in, I'll, I'll kind of mix in the eggs with the rice to kind of hold everything together. Once that's in, I'll put in some spinach. This is, uh, I don't know, less than a cup, of course, uh, but I'll throw that in. I, I usually feed them a little more. I'm trying to be neat here for the presentation, but, uh, I usually do feed them a little more spinach, and this is spinach right here. Mix this in. Got to get those greens. Get that square diet in. And so next, what we got is ground beef. And this is about a patty, about a regular ham hamburger patty. Let me show you what I got here. So I guess this is what it would look like. Uh, like I said, I don't I don't really weigh or measure his food, but you know, you just go by feel. That's what, what I give him pretty much on a on a regular basis right there. So we'll throw that in. And I try to mix it in to where this beef is uh, sticking or the rice is sticking to the beef. So just give, give it little chops there and you'll see that uh, everything will start to stick and none of it goes to waste. Uh, sometimes he may leave uh, the rice behind because it's not mixed in well or and there's other times where he's just so hungry that you know he doesn't leave uh, anything behind and that is the, the 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 case on most occasions is that he leaves a pretty dry bowl you know he he slurps everything's up, up he loves it and you can see right here how everything's mixing in you know it seems like a lot of work uh but it's not too bad. 
it's worth it. He's a he's a good companion. He's a good friend. We take him out for walks. He's a, a protective dog. He's a he's a family dog, and uh, he's everything that I I wanted when I was looking for for a companion. So uh, you can see how everything is sticking. Looks pretty good. Yummy, yummy. All right. So let me give it one last little swirl there. And so, uh, you know, uh, we've done our research. You know, we've read where, uh, you know, you, you want some organ meats in there. And, uh, you know, we do. We have some heart here. We fed them liver on occasions. Uh, Right here um, is pretty much what, what, what we've stuck with for the last few months. Um, here we're adding a little bit of beef heart. And um, we go in and out, you know, we kind of change it up. But when you're reintroducing, you know, let's say for this beef heart, for example, uh, we don't do too much, you know, we'll only do, you know, a, a few cubes or, or a little at a time, you know, it, it may give them the runs. Uh, you know, you just want to introduce anything that's new slowly. So there's a little bit of beef heart added. He loves that, that irony taste, I suppose. So there's that. And then last but not least, we have two drumsticks. So... As far as costs go, we can get about a dozen and a half drumsticks, and that'll cost about three to four dollars. You know, depending if you're a member at, at certain uh, uh, grocery stores, uh, the heart is about uh, six dollars per heart. The rice is cheap, cheap enough to not even mention the price or the cost. <laughs> the eggs, uh, you can get a pretty good discount on it. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing that's gonna break your wallet. Um, I would say this right here, which weighs two pounds, maybe two and a half, I don't know, something like that. Um, cost on a daily average of uh, $2. So, this is Kylo. He's looking good. He's growing. He's smart. Sit. Jake. He listens. He loves us. Hug. Yeah. And he's an awesome dog. He's a good dog. He's a good companion. And he loves his master because his master feeds him good. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them. I'm not a specialist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a vet or anything, but these are the results. Come, kind of. Come. These are the results. Come. Come here, boy. Let's show them your size. Let's show them. Let's show them what you look like. These are the results of what I've been feeding him for the last year. So, he looks pretty good. You know, he's not skinny. He's not fat he's not overweight i mean I, I think he's where he needs to be and he's uh doing great thank you bye